Hi, I'm from Badger Basket, here to go through the assembly instructions for product number 19000. Before we get started, I want you to go through everything that you have and make sure you have everything needed. If you're missing any parts or have any damaged pieces, please contact Badger Basket before you get started. So let's get started with step one. In step one, what we're going to first be doing is putting the handles on the doors. Now you want to put the round ball on the side that has the decorative groove. That's the outside of the door. You're going to take the smallest screws from the back side and screw those in. So let's get both of the door handles on both of the doors. Once you have the handles on the door, the next thing we're going to be doing is putting on one of the sides. I'm going to be kind of combining step one and step two to make it a little bit easier for assembly. So you're going to take one of the sides here and we're going to actually start off by putting in one of the side rails that has the door stop on it. And what we're going to be doing is putting in the top two holes on one of the sides. Now an important thing to remember is when we're putting this in, this groove needs to be on the bottom rail and into the inside. And make sure that the door stop is also on the very bottom. Okay? So what we're going to be doing is putting in the top two screws here first. So we'll get those put in place. Once you have the side rail in place that has the door stopper, the next thing we need to do is put the doors in place. So what we'll do is place the doors under the side rail. There's a hole under the side here that will match this peg of the door. Make sure the handle is to the top and have it in front of the door stopper. So it will pop up in place like so. Okay. Then we're also going to do that on the other side here and putting it up in that hole on the side and putting it in front of the door stopper. I'm going to do this laying down because it's a little bit easier to maneuver. And the last thing you're going to do is put on this bottom rail. Now make sure that this groove is to the inside. Now this one will only have one groove. Do not choose the one that has the two grooves, just the one. And again, make sure it's to the inside. And we're going to pop those bottom holes of the doors into these ones. Like so. When you have that bottom rail in place, then what you're going to do is screw in the side over here on the, the very bottom screw so that it stays in place. Once the bottom rail is in place, we now have the front part assembled. The next part we need to do is now this back side here. So what we need for that is we need that similar side rail that does not have the door stopper on it and the bottom rail which has two grooves. So like the first time we're going to put the side rail on top here making sure that there's a groove to the inside and a groove going down. Then we're going to be putting on the bottom rail which will have the groove going to the inside and the groove going up. And what we'll do is we'll secure those in place. So now that we're done with parts one and part two, we're going to move on to step three, which is putting in the white panels. The easiest way to do this is to tip up the whole crib so that it's easier to slide those panels in. Now you have three different panels, two that look the same and one that has three holes in it. We'll start by putting in the plain one. And what you want to do is put it at the very bottom two slats. 
So now these will align, assuming that you put them on correctly and you have the two grooves facing in towards each other. Make sure you have the white facing towards the top of the crib. We'll put in the second panel, same thing, making sure we put them right in those grooves that are facing towards each other and white facing upward. Now the last panel we're going to be putting in is the back panel. This is the one that has the three holes in it. What you want is the white to be facing towards the doors and the brown to the back. So we'll put those in the back grooves here and slide those into place. The next part of step three is to put on the last side panel. So what we're going to do, you can actually leave it standing up like this, which makes it easier, is to put it up and have all those holes align. Just make sure that your decorative heart is towards the top of the crib and then you've got your base down here. So we'll put in the six screws here and get those all put in place. concludes step three. Now moving on to step four, what you need to do is to put in the bumper liner. So we're going to put this in here and the ties will be facing up towards the top. And you can tie them to the top rails here. Once you have them tied, all you need to do is put in the blanket and the doll pillow, and you are all set. If you have any questions or concerns, you can contact Baxter Basket as listed in your instruction manual. Otherwise, we are all done, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.